How's it go? My name is Mr. Andrews, and today we have Mr. Sandusky, a chemistry teacher here at Cal High, and he's going to play some music for us. Absolutely. Thanks. Right. Glad to be here. Great. Glad to have you. All right, so go ahead and check that out right now. First question I have for you is, what type of music best represents you? Best represents? I'm going to have to go with classical music, uh, mainly because I've kind of got the split brain, very logical on one side, and then the music side is very artistic, and I think classical is, is really logical. I mean, I love other stuff, like jazz, but jazz is a little more freeform, and I'm afraid I'm yeah. just not quite, I'm a little much in the box on that, I'm afraid. Okay, so I gotta ask. I've never asked a non-music question on this <laughs> channel, but I gotta ask about the bow tie. So bow tie. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me the decision making process. Well, you know, um, you're a chemistry teacher, so you know I don't have crazy white hair looking like Albert Einstein, mm -hmm. but you know maybe Bill Nye the science guy. Okay, I Bill, see it Bill now. Nye. I see it. You, know, you I just have, answered our questions. You know, over sixty bow ties in my closet. So if I do it right. <laughs> My kids, you know, they won't see the same bow tie uh, more than once a semester. Wow. That's dedication. If I do it right. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about Huey Lewis in the news the other day. Right. Right. So a shared artist that both of us like. Now, can you explain to the audience, first of all, your best Huey Lewis story? So my best Huey Lewis story is I, I went to um, school high school in Marin, Sir Francis Drake High in San Anselmo, and Huey was a Marin guy, mm -hmm. and um, he played like our homecoming in our gym. So you know wow. here's this this was you know in the late seventies early eighties right around in there right when he was you know starting to get his stride and uh, so that was pretty cool. You know I don't think we really you know, quite understood what we had there. Right. You know, it was on the, the you know, kind of the upswell for him. But, uh, yeah, so he, he played. Seriously, he was big time in the 1980s. I think he played every Super Bowl and World Series. Yeah. I, I went to a concert he was at once, you know. I was like, oh, my God, we had him in the gym not too long ago. <laughs> Crazy. So, yeah. yeah, I so saw was... him kind of at the opposite end when he played at the Chico County Fair. <laughs> and check this out. <laughs> First of all, I was really jazzed to go to the concert. I kept requesting one song. And I, again, I, I think he thought I was some crazy guy, but I really love Back in Time from Back to the Future. And I kept saying, gotta play Get Back in Time. And by the end of the concert, I think I'd annoyed Huey Lewis. <laughs> 
where he said, uh, look, this is a different band. We're not the same band anymore. Oh, so no. Kind of an opposite Dude, come on. experience. Oh, well. yeah. Got to go back in time. As a connection here, Huey Lewis was actually the teacher in Back to the Future who said he was too loud to Marty <laughs> McFly. I don't know if you remember at the beginning. Not exactly. It's no. been a while, but if you go back and check, go back and check time. for me. Go back in time. Okay, so you're someone who's played in various bands and various different styles. If you could take a moment and kind of have your resume of bands that you've been in, <laughs> okay, so that we can know as an audience. And then I want you to think about your best experience on stage. So what was your moment? What was the most memorable okay. time when you were on stage? Went to the University of California, Berkeley, marched tenor saxophone in the Cal Band for four years. Played while I was in college. Played with a, a rock band called Wiley and the Coyotes. Nice. Uh, played saxophone with them. Played a lot of what we would call frat rock. Uh, you like, know, like Louis Louis. Oh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you know, and so we would do dances and stuff like that. So you have to play stuff that people can dance to. You do. Um, you know, throughout the years in between, I, I play a lot with um, like uh, local community concert bands. Mm -hmm. uh, the the uh, band at Dabble Valley College. Band Martinez. Um, currently, I'm playing with the uh, Walnut Creek Concert Band, the, the official band of Walnut Creek. I'm their I'm their concert master on the clarinet. Okay. Um, I also play with a group of people, uh, eight other clarinetists called Clarinet Fusion. And um, check them out here. I'm going to yeah, put a link on top. Clarinetfusion.org. Mm -hmm. And um, that might be that group might be one of the coolest things because we were invited by the San Francisco Symphony to go to Davies Symphony Hall, and mm -hmm. even though it wasn't really for a, a whole you know house full of uh, you know participants, uh, audience members, we were able to be on their stage with a select group of uh, people in the audience to hear us perform a, uh, a like an eleven minute piece. So that was pretty cool being on Davies, getting to go in the backstage and seeing you know like oh wow you know lots of famous people have walked back here. Mm -hmm. uh, that that was pretty cool. Um, that was one of the coolest things. I even got to play a, you know, in a rock band uh, with with the famous uh, former AP Bob Spain. Yes, we, we, we Bob played Spain. A game. Hold on, we that guy's gonna. Bob Spain, come on my show. Okay, you you've been called out right here. <laughs> so thanks for being on the show. My pleasure. And we look forward to seeing this guy on the big stage later in the semester. That's right. Go partial credit. <laughs> Take care.